In this video, I'm gonna be giving you a very simple little pressure concept that you can use out of the Big Nickel over G to get really good pressure against pretty much any offense in the game. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden players that they can become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies happening right here on the channel. Now in this video, I'm going to be breaking down some pressure that you can use out of the Big Nickel Over G defense. It's my new favorite defense in the entire game. And if you have not already got my Big Nickel Over G defensive guide, it just dropped and you can get it down in the description. I'm going to leave a link down there. This defense is absolutely insanely effective because it allows you not only to be able to blitz, but have great coverage concepts and it allows you to be able to have probably the best run defense in the entire game, all from one formation, which is what I really like about it. And just real quick for the blitz we're gonna be breaking down, we're gonna put our auto alignment to base align. Now, like I said, if you wanna learn my entire big nickel over G defensive scheme, you can get the entire defensive guide in the description of this video for just 15 bucks. But the play we're gonna be utilizing um, it is, it's really a concept. It doesn't have to be a specific play, but I like to use um, this, uh, drew a blank there. I like to just use uh, WS Blitz 3, but again, you can do whatever you want. So you can, you, it's, it's a concept. You don't have to use this play. But literally all we're going to do is we're just gonna show Blitz. You see that it's gonna kinda of keep that guy right there. We're gonna pinch our D-line, crush our D-line out. And then what I like is how this safety kind of drifts to the middle of the field. I really like how he drifts to the middle of the field because it's going to just allow us a lot of options of how we're going to play defensively. But anyways, all we're going to do is just kind of blitz our user and we're going to stand kind of right in here. Um, we don't want to be over here. We really ideally want to be kind of like right here and just run down at the stop and cover the running back. And you're going to see that you're going to get this nice looping pressure um, off the outside. Now, if you, if you get that animation right there, it means... So when you move this guy, um, if you QB contain and move him in just like this right here, that's going to help a little bit just with the blitz angle. You're going to see here, going to come right off the edge, kind of contain. Um, they've kind of patched the contain stuff, so it is what it is. But anyways, you it's, it's just one of those things where you basically just want his blitz angle to see how he's on a stock blitz angle. If you re-blitz him, you're not gonna get anything better, unfortunately. So that's where I say you can do this from any play. It's more of a concept. The, the blitz angle from this one is just already set up for you. Um, so you can easily get, you know, you can easily get the pressure. Another way you can do the same kind of concept is if you stand, I might be standing a little bit too far to the right. So if I stand like right over here, you're gonna see now I get better. There you go. That's better. So I told you the wrong place to stand, but the idea is that you're going to stand over the center. You just want to be to the left. I forgot we're sending because we're sending a five man uh, pressure. If you stand like and you don't even have to move him, but if you stand like right over here, then the beauty of this is the linemen are going to kind of react. And then as you see there, the instant instant pressure. The biggest thing is you want to be able to cover the running back if the running back indeed goes out on a route. It's a nice little roll blitz. Um, if you wanted to, you can use her this guy, okay? If you want to, uh, you certainly can use her this guy down and just kind of loop into the middle of the field. If you want to, you're going to get the same pressure. So that's that's the beauty of Big Nick Clover G. It's really flexible. It's really moldable. What I love about this defense is it's honestly really simple, but it's really, really effective. It can do everything we want to do. It can max coverage. It can uh, play the run. It can play the pass. It can blitz. What I like about it is you can blitz. You can literally blitz eight people. Eight people are blitzable in the way that the formation aligns which is really, really helpful for generating all kinds of different pressures. So if you wanna learn how I uh, how I run the best defense in Madden, which has actually shifted to this big nickel, especially with all of the rollout stuff and things people are doing right now, you can learn how to do everything that I do from big nickel for just 15 bucks down in the description. It's the best defense in the game right now. It's really good against trip side in. Trip side in players have a lot of trouble with this defense because of the pressure you can send, but also because of the coverages that you can create behind it. Thanks for watching this video, and if you wanna get the defense, it's down in the description.